hi and welcome to another video in this session we are going to look at how to download and use the bootstrap library in our project offline so there are times that when you're creating your website your web pages your web application you would want to use the bootstrap library in your project so it happens that there are a couple of ways that you can include the library in your applications or on your website or in your project okay now one is to use um, the CDN that is a content delivery network another way is also to get the files downloaded onto your machine and then include it in your project some way somehow all right now when you use a CDN what it means is that 99% of the times you will have to be connected to the internet to be able to um, have the bootstrap library working in your project okay and the other way around to when you happen to download the files and then find a way of included including it in your project you wouldn't have to depend on internet connectivity to be able to run the library or get the library working in your project because um, things you are not going to just stand up and push whatever project you are creating onto the internet like that you would have to be doing testing making sure that everything is working properly before you actually push it onto the server it's it would be better off if we get the library downloaded offline and then find a way of including it in our project to work offline so that in a situation where we don't even have access to internet connectivity we can still work with bootstrap library so having that said i believe you know the purpose of this video and whatever doubts that you might be having has been cleared so let's go ahead and then visit the bootstrap web page so that we can get the files downloaded and start working with it as soon as possible all right so I'm just going to look up getbootstrap.com in the address bar. So here I am on the home page of Bootstrap. Now, you just have to navigate a little bit down and you are going to see this download link here. So let, let's just hit on that one. Okay, now we are brought to this section here. So you can see, set so download Bootstrap. Okay, so this is a compiled CSS and then the JavaScript um, files, okay? And this is exactly what we are interested in. So, we are not interested in the source file. We are interested in this one here, okay? So, let's just hit on download. And I believe that the download should get started any moment from now. okay so yes yeah, so our download has been triggered let me just hit on start download actually it is finished downloading so let me go ahead and open the folder and then let me so this is actually a compressed file okay it is a compressed file so we have to extract it so i'm just going to do this right click on it and then I'll go to show more options and I'm using 7-zip okay so whichever extractor you're having you can use that to extract this file if you are using the Windows default um, extractor that is also fine just find a way of extracting the files that are contained in this zip folder so I'll just hit on this one here and then now the files have been extracted into this folder so we can see that we have the CSS and then the JavaScript folder Okay, so let's just say that we want these two folders. So let's copy it. I'm just going to hit on this one here. Now I've created a folder on my desktop called Bootstrap Tutorials. Here, this one. I'm just going to paste these two folders here. Alright. Now I've already opened this folder in the ID so as you can see i've opened this folder inside the id already okay so 
since i've included these two folders you can see that they have reflected in there as such so this is a js folder and this is a css folder so once you expand the css you can see there are a lot of files in there there are a lot of files in there but normally this is what we are going to be working with the bootstrap.css or the minified version that is a bootstrap.min.css most of the time that is what we are going to be working with and then for the javascript too we are going to be using the bootstrap.min.js or the bootstrap.js okay now let me go into this file that i created here index.html and then let me create the basic structure of an html file or document that's the boilerplate or yes and then let's just say i want to say this one is bootstrap offline inclusion let's say that is a title of our web page right now okay now let me just say that i have um a button okay a button and then of type perhaps submit okay so let me say that the text to be displayed on this button here is what submit now let me open this one inside a browser so that you see how it looks like because of such the server let me just right click on this one again so i'm using an extension called live server okay so i'm just going to open this particular file with the live server here so okay so this is what we are having this is what we are having on the website or on the web page right now you can see that this button is just as normal as a default this is a default look and feel all right so observe something carefully we are going to include the bootstrap file so first of all we need the css the bootstrap css so that is just a comment so i'll say link css then i would have to point to the folder that is containing the bootstrap file or the css the bootstrap css okay so this particular index.html file is seated in a root folder together with this um these other two folders okay so i'll just have to say that dot okay and then go into the root folder look for css and then look for bootstrap dot css so meaning this is just referring to referring to the current um root folder okay which is the folder that is containing all these other files here okay all right now let me just go back to the website and refresh once again and see what we are having something has actually changed this is not how it was looking right so let me try and comment this thing out to see okay okay so already something has started taking effect now bootstrap works with classes bootstrap is class classes 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 just classes like that so i'm just going to say class on this particular button here i'll say btn okay let me go back and see what we have oh so at the moment the background for this particular button as wise we can't practically see in it so let me add another class called btn prime go and see what we have okay so we still cannot see any oh so actually i've not saved it i have to save the document just just go to the file and then hit on save let's go and see exactly so as you can see this button is now looking different 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 at all okay Now let's let me just say that I want a div with a con with a class of container, and then let me just wrap this button element here inside of the container. Let's go back and see what we have. 
so as you can see there are a lot of changes going on and that is happening because of the bootstrap library that we've just included okay yes now let me go back and then try to say that um, we have an input tag with a type of text let's say that we want a class on this one to be a form control okay let's go and see what this one has for us so as you can see if i get rid of this class let me just distort it by including one l here let's go back and see so this is the default input tag or input element that we have in html this is how it looks like all right this is how it practically looks like but when we included this bootstrap class on it it has changed it's totally the look and feel is now different okay so let me just say that i want margin on the top and bottom to be four and then the weight of this one to be 25 you see so this is looking more elegant right now. so yes that is practically how to get bootstrap downloaded offline and then include it in your project if you find this video helpful kindly like the video subscribe to the channel because there are more amazing content that will be coming up we can't afford to miss them all right your comments your thoughts are also welcome in the comment section that will be it for this tutorial see you guys next time bye